when we moved here, there was no other stores on this block. There was no restaurants. Um, there was Chinese temples and maybe a grocery store at the end of the block. Bruce Lee Glanter relocated Downtown Music Gallery to Monroe Street in 2009. That was after the rent at his previous store on the Bowery was raised by 250%. But to Bruce, location is secondary. It's a dream job. I mean, I've always wanted to work with music. Getting to meet musicians and meet customers all the time and talk about music and listen to music, it's a beautiful thing. Downtown Music Gallery opened originally in 1990 and is one of a dwindling number of music retail stores left in the city. People find their way here because they know we specialize in something or they read on Google that there's like maybe only a handful of stores left. So they come here to see what we have. There's other people who come in that are looking for weirder, more eclectic stuff, and this is kind of their home. Every row here is a different type of music. Uh, world music, modern classical, older classical, Canterbury and progressive in downtown. Downtown music is a vibrant and experimental music form from which the store gets its name. Yoko Ono, Fred Firth, and John Zorn were some of the early pioneers, and Galanter was transfixed by the music they played. John Zorn used to play with a tabletop and mouthpieces, and he wouldn't put his sax together. He'd just play mouthpieces with bird calls and a cup of water. What he did didn't make any sense to me, and I said, Fred, why do you play with this guy? He doesn't put his sax together. He doesn't play anything that I could recognize. And Fred would look at me and he goes, he's trying to invent a new vocabulary for the sax. Be patient. Galanter became friends with a lot of these musicians, and his store became a de facto home for downtown music. I watched his career evolve and watch him as a composer actually grow and change and evolve. And that's a large part of our business. They now have 900 CDs, books, t-shirts, you know, it's unbelievable. Galanter has documented the scene for over 30 years and even delivered a lecture in Denmark on downtown music. In addition to being a bit of a historian, Galanter supports the scene through in-store concerts. I like kind of sponsoring concerts and giving people a chance to play. The gigs are free, doesn't cost anybody any money. So what's the future of this unique musical outpost in Two Bridges? This year is our 30th anniversary, which is, most stores don't last that long. And we're happy, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy this is going to continue. This music needs a home. For Diverse City, I'm Craig Thompson.